Hello and welcome. Before you watch this video and see how I solve it, please pause it for yourself and try it on your own. Okay, let's start by reading this question. It says, which system of equations? A system of equations, of course, is a group of equations. So here we have one, two equations. We call that a system, so two or more equations. Has the same solution as this, as the, which, oh, which system of equations has the same solution as the system below? So they're saying out of these four choices, which one has the same solution set as this system right here? Now, all of these, when I think about this for a second, all of them are lines. You can tell they're lines because your exponents, x and y, um, your, excuse me, your variables, x and y, have exponents of 1, right? It's really 2 times x to the first and y to the first. When your exponents on the variables are 1, um, you're dealing with a line. So these are linear equations. Now, what does that mean? Let's just scroll down here for a second. The background behind this problem, so you have a, uh, an x and y axis, right? Well, if you have an x and y axis and you have two lines somewhere, because these there are two equations here, right? Let's say this is one of our lines and then this is another. What, what, what happens when they cross? Well, they cross once, right? This is where they cross. And where they cross is the solution that um, for both equations. So every point is a solution on a line. Let me color code this to help you think about it. So like this line right here is orange, right? So every orange point on the orange line is a point on the line, of course, but it's also a solution for that line. And every green point on the green line is a point on the green line, but also a solution for the green line. So the one point that's on both lines, let's say this point right here, I'll make it red, is a solution to both lines. Now when you have two lines, they can cross once, that's one situation, uh, but there are two more to think about. Um, if they don't cross once, what happens? Well, the other scenarios to think about are that they're parallel. That means they have the same slope, let's say like these two purple lines right here. That they're, this isn't perfectly parallel, sorry, I messed that up, but they will never ever touch each other so they'll never cross. In other words, there are no two points, there's no one point that are, is on both lines um, ever. So there are no solutions. So there's either one solution or no solutions, right, to a system, one solution, no solutions, if they're parallel. And the other scenario, if you can think about it, is that there are infinite solutions, in other words, of the same line. So here, if we have our x and y axis, if I draw two lines, let's say I draw uh, a purple line, and then I have a red line, but it's precisely over the purple line, they're exactly the same line, right? and they share uh, every solution. In other words, they're infinite solutions. Now that might seem like redundant, but this problem is actually about this scenario, so infinite solutions. Why is this problem about this scenario? Well, I think it ends up being that way, because, uh, let me show you what I mean. It is possible to have scenarios um, where multiple lines, let's say, on this axis right here, let's call this, uh, well, let's call this, of course, x and y, but let's say we have a, a purple line crossing a pink line uh, up here. Now, those two lines have the same solution, but then if I draw a yellow line through that point, and let's say a blue line through that point, they all cross at this one point. They all share that solution. So if we had one system that had two lines, blue and yellow, and another pink and purple, they could all cross at the same solution. That's possible. So two systems could be completely made up of completely different lines, like blue and yellow or pink and purple, but still ultimately have the same solution. However, it is also possible that really um, <laughs> the two solutions were given uh, the solution we're given to the first system, so like this yellow and green line crossing at the red, it is possible that you're given two other lines that are exactly the same, but written differently and are in fact the same thing, which is exactly what we have here. So that's probably the first thing I would look for. So um, how do I look for that? Well, you would see other versions of the system, but scaled up or down. So here's what I mean. If I just took my first equation and multiply everything by 2, right, what would I get? I would get 4x plus 4y equals 32. Well, this is the same equation just scaled up by 2, 
So it's the exact same line. It looks different. You got fours and a 32, but they're equal to each other, right? So let me actually write equals there. Sorry. So 4x plus 4y equals 32. That is, I'll draw the arrows, the same thing as 2x plus 2y equals 16. That's the same line. So if I had another system that has 4x plus 4y equals 32 and 3x minus y equals 4, it has the same solution. If I scale up the bottom one by 3, I would get 9x minus 3y equals 12. Right, multiply everything by 3. And this is identical, these two, these two systems. They just look different because they're multiplied by a different scale factor. So that's what we're looking for here. That's the first thing I would check to make this easier. And we can see that in choice 2. Because um, here, you notice we have 3x originally. If we double it, we have 6x. If we have y, we double it and have 2y. And of course, we have to also double 4, right? If we didn't double 4 or any other term here, if we missed one of them, it wouldn't be the same equation. To keep it balanced on both sides, the multiplication property of equality says we must multiply everything by the same scale factor. And then if you notice, the first equation is identical. Nothing has changed. So that means that 6x minus 2y equals 8 and 3x minus y equals 4 are the same exact lines uh, as represented um, in this system. I actually uh, chose choice 4 initially, but notice that's incorrect because of the sign change here, right? These two equations, everything's proportional. 3x double to 6x, y is double to 2y, and 4 is double to 8. However, Really, we don't want to forget we have negative y here, so we should have negative 2y when we double it. So don't make that same mistake. All right, thanks.